So I was working with a client the other day who was really struggling to lose weight. She does fasting. She's got a very tight diet. She has, she's moving a lot. But one of the things that she was doing, she'd have her meal very early, like 5.30 or 6. But about 9 o'clock, she needed a snack. She just wanted to <laughs> outside. And so she'd have ice cream with her husband. And I said, do you realize your blood sugar's gone up after your meal? Her meal was a good meal. And then it started to come down. And when you have that ice cream, you spike it again. And now the whole time you're sleeping, you're in massive storage mode because she didn't know, understand about timing her blood sugar or monitoring her blood sugar. So one of the things that I'm going to say is if you wanted a relatively inexpensive way to see how your food is impacting you, yeah. you can buy over-the-counter $25, you know, starter pack for a blood sugar monitor. You know, it'll have a meter, it'll have some test strips, and it'll have a lancet. You poke your finger, you put a drop of blood on there, it's minor, no big deal, and all of a sudden it'll give you a number. Well, you know, if your number in the morning is running 80, 90, 100, great, but after you eat a meal, if you're at 300, that's a problem because you just went in massive storage mode. Now, I know a lot of people will say, I'm only eating once a day. And you may be dipping into that dizzy and, uh, and now mm -hmm. you're in starvation mode and your body is saying, don't release anything. So if you go from packing it on to don't releasing, you're not spending enough time in that burn mode to burn it out. 